Hello there, I have a few questions to run through today. They're all listed on my pad here. So first up, have you ever had your vision tested with a single letter that varies in orientation? I'll arrange that for you. Cover your left eye. Tell me which way the letter is facing, please. Just uncover, cover the other eye now, please. Okay, uncover and relax. Have you ever needed to use a cleaning product for blepharitis to clean your lids of any debris? Well, you're in luck. Have a fresh blepha clean wipe for your ear. Okay, just close your eyes. I'm going to gently Clean the lids for you. I'm going to focus on the upper and lower margins. And a fresh wipe for the other eye now. Keep them closed, please. Just very gentle pressure. And you can relax now. Okay, moving on. Has anybody ever discussed age-related cataracts with you? I can do that now. It so happens that I have a, a lens grading system here. This is the lens opacities Classification system number three, abbreviated to LOCS. Okay, so essentially we have three types of age-related cataract. You have your hazy nuclear type here, cortical type here, which we can describe as spokes coming across, like on a wheel and the cataract that develops the posterior part, part of the lens, the posterior subcapsula there. And as you can see, as you move along the scale, the increasing severity of these cataracts, that is the cortical, this is encroaching on the vision, the nuclear, very hazy, crystalline lens there and a very large posterior subcapsular cataract there okay so that is the grading system one of the grading systems that can be used to assess cataracts age related type okay moving on have you ever seen the city rule before the city rule is a city rule. You can 
take various measurements of your face and your spectacles. Okay, so you've never had any measurements taken with the city room. Right, looking into this eye, please. This eye, this one, back to this one. This one. And coming across. Back to this one, please. Okay, have you ever had your iris diameter measured? I'll arrange that for you. This eye, and this eye. This one, this one, it stands at 12 millimetres there. Pupillary distance, 65 millimetres. Right, have you ever had the Hirschberg light test performed on you before? Okay, it's very simple. You keep the head still into the light and I'm going to observe the corneal reflexes there, the corneal reflexes. Okay, so I'm just looking for that slight nasal displacement that tells me the eyes are straight, left and right. That's completed, thank you. Okay, and just to back this test up, we have a related test. When was your last ocular cover test? With something like this. Have you had one before, a cover test? Okay, we're checking for any eye deviations, any tropias, or any drifts, such as phorias. So I'll keep looking into this eye, please. I'm going to cover one eye at a time. Now just observe this eye. at the tip of my nose now. This is the phoria check. Looking for esophoria or exophoria if there's an absence of atropia. A little bit quicker now. Finally complete. Next question, when was your last temperature check? It's very simple and straightforward. Here is the thermometer. It's a handheld contactless device. And that's all we need there, all we need. Okay, so keep steady. I'm going to point it at the forehead. Okay, we have a reading of 36.7. It's rather accurate. Let's just take a second reading. Okay, and we're in the normal still. 36.7 degrees Celsius. Okay, have you ever had your head measured before, the dimensions of the head? Let's just start with a simple tag measure. Keep the head 
steady. a little bit more specific with the device here. Okay, head width first and foremost. Now for the temple width. I have those readings there. What about your apical radius measurement? Has that been performed before? It's using this scale here, looking for a snug fit on the bridge of the nose, not too loose, not too tight. It's great for when you need bespoke spectacles, relax. An eight, seven, getting there, six, looks good, five a little tight, and, uh, excellent, thank you. And what about a front angle measurement, has that been performed on you previously? Relax again then, Actually lining this up with the centre the nose, bringing the cursor in until we have slight contact or first contact gently here and here and then we'll use the scale here in terms of degrees as our units. Start off with the right front angle Five degrees for the left. Just over twenty, we'll call that twenty two degrees there. Excellent. That concludes the measurement questions and tests. When was your heart last listened to? Have you seen a doctor recently? Okay, let me get the stethoscope ready. Just breathe naturally. Okay, we'll tie this in with a pulse reading. Just roll up your left sleeve. Let me have your hand. I'll just give it a few moments. Just breathe naturally. Okay, sounds good. Okay, when was your last amplitude of accommodation test? I'll perform it for you now then. I'm going to use the replica 
RF rule here. I'm going to rest this gently on the bridge there. Contact on the cheeks. I'm going to find the correct scale. I want you to tell me when the print on the drum wheel first goes blurry, please. Over here. Focus on the second block of print there, please, the second row. And again, just tell me if it goes blurry. Okay, you have a good amplitude of accommodation. Look as though we have 12 diopters there, 12 diopters. Okay, and final set of questions. Have you ever had a Burton lamp assessment with the blue light? Right, that involves popping some yellow dye into the eyes. Certainly doesn't sting or affect your vision. Have you had the dye before? Right, one drop in each eye, look up. Take a few blinks. And now for the left, look up again. Let's take a few blinks again. I'm going to set up that Burton lamp now. I'm going to look at your eyes through the window here. Try and look through the window yourself back at me. Blink naturally. Let's start with the right eye, please. Blink again, and look up, look to the right, and to the left, looking down, straight ahead. It's a very simple test, looking at the cornea and the conjunctiva, let's line this up. Straight and look up, look down to the left and to the right, straight ahead. Blink a couple of times, and it's that simple. That's all the tests and questions you covered today. Let me just take the final few notes and I'll let you escape. Okay, thanks for stopping by.